property with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, had a great time today, this afternoon, down at Carlisle Elementary, talking to the kindergarten class. There they are right there. We talked about storms, which we had some of those this morning, and where to go, safety tips, all that good stuff. So hello to the kindergarten class at Carlisle. Had a great time down there today talking about the weather. We're going to continue the review of the winter outlook. This was the forecast, the coldest in the second half of the winter. It was a close call, but it actually was. The first half, we ended up at about 38 degrees. It's about 37.7 in the second half. So there's my record. We'll keep tracking along again tomorrow as we continue to look back at the winter outlook. I wanted to show you this. Thanks to Joshua. We just got this in. Uh, this is from Clay City, Illinois. Uh, about 9 o'clock this morning. Check it out. They had hail. We did have some severe thunderstorm warnings for that storm as it moved from around the Clay City area over towards Lawrenceville. So thanks to Joshua for that. Had some hail reports across the area earlier this morning. And we may still find some stronger storms coming in and also we continue with this uh, flood watch. This is basically from I-70 South. This is from now through early Saturday morning. The heaviest of the rain will come in two rounds tonight, early tomorrow, then a break, and then tomorrow evening into early on Saturday. And in both cases, some heavy rain will be possible. We hit 69 degrees this afternoon, but we've dropped to 50. So we've dropped now almost 20 degrees since this afternoon as a front is making its way through the area. And you'll see that on the temperature map here in a second. Didn't get a whole lot of rain here, even though we had some heavier rain in places. We've only got 0.12, so we're at 3.33 so far for the month. We'll be going above average for the first time in a long time in about 24 hours. River in Terre Haute, it's coming back up now, and it's going to rise quite a bit with the rain that's on the way, it looks like. So what are we tracking? Well, we have more rain to talk about. Some heavy rain, some thunderstorms mixed in, but relatively good on the temperatures as we head for the upcoming weekend, although it is going to be windy on Saturday as the storm moves through. 50 at the airport in Terre Haute. The pressure actually rising a little bit now, but notice the wind north at 16, indicating the front has moved through. Look at these temperatures. It's 72 in Washington, but it's 43 in Crawfordsville. There's about a 30-degree drop with that front as it makes its way through. So the front's moving in, and we've got moisture coming up along the front, a lot of moisture. So we're going to see some showers and some thunderstorms developing tonight. The main storm is still back here. That will arrive tomorrow night. So two waves of rain coming in. The first one tonight, front moving in. We're already starting to see some rain on the back side. So imagine the front dropping down here. And here comes some of that moisture now in the cooler air mass. And that's what we'll be getting tonight. But down south, we do see some of the heavier rain here around the Bloomington area. This just came out of Greene County where they had some heavier rain. Then you go down here towards Vincennes and we're actually showing some lightning in this, maybe some small hail in that as well. So pretty heavy storm there in the southern portion of Knox County. So the rain comes in tonight. You'll see this through the overnight. Should catch a break as we get into part of the day tomorrow. And then there'll be more rain that comes in tomorrow night early on Saturday. Most of this should be tapering off though once we get into Saturday afternoon. So two waves of rain on the way and some of that could be heavy at times. Maybe even some snowflakes north west of here on Saturday as colder air starts to move this way. Forecast looks like this for tonight. Rain will be redeveloping. Could be heavy at times. 41 for the low. Then tomorrow, showers mostly early. Then I think we'll catch a break for a while. Daytime high of 53, so it'll be cooler. And then after that, more rain comes in as we take you into tomorrow night. End of the day coming up on Saturday morning. 57 on Sunday. Right now, temperatures holding in the 50s all of next week. That's your forecast. Sports coming up right after the break.